Hi there, let's go over the features found within the POS menu. We can access the POS menu by clicking the hamburger menu found in the top left corner of the POS. Let's start with holding and resuming an order. To do this, we'll need to start building an order. We can hold an order as a guest customer or find a contact. First, let's hold an order as a guest customer. Select whatever items to add to the cart, select the hamburger menu, and then select hold an order. To hold the order, you'll need to associate the order with a name. This could be a table or seat number or the person's name if you know it. An email address isn't necessary to hold an order, so once you have a name inputted, press apply. To resume the order, go to the hamburger menu, select resume an order, and then resume the appropriate order. You can add or delete items from the order and hold it again if needed by once again going to the menu, selecting hold an order, and pressing apply. If the customer already has their information on file, we can click anywhere in the customer window and search for them. We can then add whatever items to their shopping cart. Once you're done, go to the menu and press hold an order. As you can see, the customer's information is auto-populated. If needed, you can alter the name and then press apply. Just like any other order, if we press clear cart, the order will be deleted and we'll need to start over. Next is additional order info. We can use this feature prior to adding items to the cart or in the middle of building the customer's order. Within additional order info, we can adjust the sales associate, change the sales attribute, adjust the inventory pool, modify the order type, input a source code, or add notes to the order. But be mindful, order notes are customer facing, so they would be able to see what's written on their receipt. Once you're done editing the order, select Apply. Open cash drawer is relatively straightforward. If you're needing to open the cash drawer for whatever reason at any point, this is how it's done. You can also print a receipt for whatever items are currently in the shopping cart by pressing Print Receipt. If needed, you can also access the WineDirect Admin Panel through the POS by selecting WineDirect Admin Panel. Order Manager allows you to view all orders processed. To search or filter through the orders, you can go to the magnifying glass found at the top right-hand corner. You can search a specific order number, orders by their order type, orders by the sales associate who processed the order, the customer's first and last name. You can look at orders processed between specific dates, search orders by their status, their payment status, shipping status, vendors, and whether or not an order is a pickup order or not. Once you've adjusted the fields accordingly, press search. Next is device settings. This window allows you to adjust the POS profile and the receipt printer. If you're experiencing any issues within the POS, you can use the help window. When we click on help, a troubleshooting window appears with a notes box. You can enter the issue you're experiencing and press send report. This will generate a report of your POS settings and a network connection test to help diagnose any issues you're experiencing and send it to WineDirect support team. The reload POS button is a helpful tool you may use often. Think of it as unplugging the POS and plugging it back in. It's often the quickest and easiest way to resolve an issue. This is also helpful if anything has been added or removed from the POS. Say a new discount button has been added, but it's not appearing yet. Press the Reload POS button, and now the button should appear. If you wish to log out of the POS, you can do so by pressing the Log Out button. Finally, anytime you wish to go back to the main POS screen, simply click Close Menu. That's it for POS menu functionality. See you in the next video.